Welcome, uh, Mahala. Have you chosen your 12 or your 11 for tomorrow's match? Uh, no, we, we haven't because we want to give Dinesh Andimal another 24 hours to see how he pulls up. He did bat yesterday, he had a few run-throughs and stuff, so pulled out pretty well. But we want to give him as much as time if he's um, fit. And everyone else seems to be in, in good good condition. So we'll, we'll assess uh, our final 11 once we get uh, a report on him as well. Would it just be a like-for-like like with a batsman? Um, yeah, I mean... Kusal, Kusal kept wickets pretty well, he batted well, but yeah, we'll see what, what we need to do, given the surface as well, if you need to change the combination with our bowling attack and all that, so we make that final call once we realise where Chandi Mahal is. Australia's, um, Australia's got their own uh, issues. Moses Henriques has um, busted his hand in the nets this morning and gone for some scans. Um, if he can't play, they've got to choose between a, a fast bowling all-rounder or a spinning all-rounder. Um, they've only got three quicks in there at the moment. Do you see the Gabba wicket out there as being one where you need to have four quicks? Well, the last time we played, obviously, it did have a bit of bounce and probably a little bit more movement as well. But it depends. I mean, yesterday's the way the weather was and the wicket looked fresh. But, you know, today's pretty hot. So if the wicket's baked and all that, you, you'll never know. But we still have four quicks in our lineup with Angelo and Thissara being the two all-rounders. So, uh, but we just need to make a call on, you know, whether we need a bit of extra pace in the lineup or not. So we'll make that call once, like I said, uh, with when, when Chandi's uh, fitness is assessed. Um, unlucky for Moise, I hope it's not too bad. But, you know, I, I felt that, you know, he probably will play as that seventh uh, batsman um, all-rounder. So... Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to wait and see what they come up with. Would you be surprised if Australia entered the clash with the spinner as the all-rounder rather than bringing a, a seam or a quick bowler into the attack? Well, they did uh, go with that combination in the last two games. Um, they had two spinners as their all-round option. Um, it's tough. I think a lot of the teams are trying to figure out with, with the new, new rules and you know the field restrictions what would be their best combination, whether you need five good bowlers to cope up with the field restrictions or can you, you know, handle with those half bowlers. So even for us, you know, this is our fifth game with these uh, new regulations. So we're just, you know, fiddling around with, you know, what would be the best uh, combination. So it's just, it just of us uh, seeing the conditions, seeing the opposition and, and getting it right. How do you prepare now? You've got as they say, the big three back. Um, obviously, the skipper moves back into the side. Uh, how do you prepare against the new Australian team? Uh, they were calling the old one, obviously, the, the B side. Yeah, in theory, you've got the best side on the, on, the, on the paddock now. I don't know. I mean, I didn't play a B side. I played the Australian national side a couple of days ago. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's good to have Davy and Michael back, I guess. But, you know, we, we prepare the same way. Uh, we know we played them last year as well. We, we had a very good uh, outing against them. Um, we just need to, you know, change our game plan a little bit, um, have different plans for those guys and, and try and execute that. I think that's the most important thing. Um, very comfortable with uh, what we've got and how we go about things in one-day cricket. And we, we will try and back ourselves to do the same come into the game very confident after your last victory. Yeah, it is. I think, you know, after Melbourne, um, obviously we were not up to our standards, especially with the ball. We, we probably bowled too many four balls in, in Melbourne. And on Adelaide, we, could, we probably had a little bit more help. We, we bowled good areas. We created opportunities. So if we can keep up that pressure um, with the spinners we've got and, and the all-rounders, I think, you know, we've got a very good balanced side and, you know, even though we have few injuries and, you know, we're fiddling with few changes with our, with our batting lineup, you know, we're very comfortable, uh, you know, what we are trying to do. And, um, yeah, it was a good win in Adelaide and hopefully, you know, we can repeat that. Do you see any weaknesses in the Australian team at the moment? It's one day cricket, you know, it's, it's about how you handle pressure out there in the middle. Um, you know, you can be strong in a lot of departments, but, you know, it's on the middle, the situation, um, how you can handle that. You know, that's what one day cricket is all about. So, handling pressure. 
what's your thoughts, uh, Mahala, about how the new restrictions, the new fielding restrictions have changed the game? Do you, are you a fan of the way it's, it's um, altered things? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan. Um, I thought the last product we had was pretty decent. Um, the two new balls, yes, gives the, the bowlers a bit more venom. The quicks get more options, which is great. Um, the only downside to the field restrictions is the spinners, I think, you know, they're taking taken away from the game, to be honest with you, because most of the spinners are being very negative now. Um, bowling to whatever the field setting is, what we've given and trying to, you know, bowl um, like fewer overs with fewer runs rather than trying to take wickets and use their variety. You have to be very bold to, you know, bold with variety with the field restrictions. So I'm, I'm, for me, I think, you know, the, the, the top, unless you're a top spinner who got a lot of varieties and all that can survive and, and the rest of the guys will struggle and be very, very negative in their approach. Um, so with the balls not getting old, the reverse swings not being used now, so I thought that was a really good art in one day cricket and was a component that a lot of the bowlers used. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's challenging, but I, I, I'm not a big fan of the new, new rules. I think it's restricting bowlers more and, you know, the batsmen are getting a free, free, free hand in it. Taking some, of the risk, taking some of the risk out of bowling in a way, you know, um, the bowlers would be more willing to take... Uh, extra risks by throwing spinners, particularly by throwing it up a little bit more if they had extra, extra field it down. Out. Yeah, no, exactly. I think, you know, uh, I feel that, you know, a lot of the bowlers around the world were very competitive with what we had, like guys like Swan and Ajmal and all the other spinners as well. You know, if, if, you, if you want an extra fielder in the ring to create pressure, anyway, they will bring that extra fielder or the second fielder if they want to create that pressure. But sometimes having those fielders at the back and, you know, throwing the ball up and asking the batsman whether you want to take the risk, clearing those fielders was tactically a good option as well for some of the spinners. So now I think, you know, they're being more negative in bowling to the pads, you know, giving that easy single to the batsman to a set field. It's more like, you know, a, a set play and, you know, get on with it. So, um, I mean, personally, I think, you know, we need to look at that aspect uh, very carefully because you're actually playing 50 overs of power play, yeah. which I don't think it's necessary. I think, you know, if you, if you need to put pressure, the captains and the bowlers will anyway bring the fielders up and have them and give them that option rather than forcing it on them. Uh, just on a separate topic, uh, what do you make of the Gabba wicket? Michael Clark was in here this morning saying he thinks it's possibly the best one day arena or one day wicket in the world. Yeah, I think, you know, it looks pretty good. I think yesterday when I saw it, it was really hard and looked good. I think with the sun on it today, it should be a very, very good wicket. I think we've enjoyed playing here a um, couple of times. We had a good outing against India last time we were here as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those wickets, you know, you can play your shots and, you know, the bowlers will have something in it for them as well. So definitely a good challenge for, for all the cricketers. I'll just ask you one more time. Do you expect Australia to play with Moses on Ricks or are you going to prepare for a, a replacement player to come into the side? <sighs> the way they've been changing and chopping, it's quite tough for us to keep up as well. So, um, well, we'll just keep our heads around and see what, what the outcome is. I'm sure we'll get to hear something maybe tomorrow morning or so. Um, it, it'll, anyway, we'll be with either, they'll go with um, uh, Maxi. Yeah. Or, or they'll go with cutting coming in and having Johnson at seven as the all-rounder. So we'll just prepare for that. If not, Moyes is fine, then he'll play as seven. So we don't have to think too far ahead. I don't think they can bring anyone that quickly to Brisbane. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate Cheers, it. Cheers, Thanks.